Hey YouTube, Mike here. How are we doing today? I hope we all had a very safe and productive week. Today I'd like to show you another little um, thing that I have that I've made uh, quite a few of them. Um, it's an assembly board. You saw the last video that I made um, that box that has the um, holds the pen turning and on the top I made a little border that I can assemble my pens on and uh, made holders for the reamers. Well, um, I used to have, I had a board um, that would lock onto the MFT cable. And for those of you that have the MFT, the MFT3, or any other um, cable that has the three quarter inch dogs, you know what happens when you have screws, you have wire nuts, you have little parts, they fall through the holes, boom, down, and, and you end up losing it or having to find it. This thing, I use three quarter inch pieces of plywood on the bottom on two sides and it locks onto the table and then I border it and I line it with this material that I found at an automotive uh, supply store. I can't remember the name of it but it's, 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 it's a chemical resistant pad. It's a roll that comes in a two foot by four foot piece and I lined the workbench with it. I used to when I worked on my brakes and stuff and it lasts a long time. It is totally chemical resistant, nothing really eats through it. I've used it and I've had uh, PVC and CPVC glue, nothing eats through it. So I'd like to go through uh, an assembly process of putting this thing together. Um, I'm basically making a two, it's a two foot by 12 inch piece with some three quarter inch uh, plywood. That's going to border the bottom and border three sides of the top. Okay, little shop safety. Safety glasses, I wear mine all the time and your hearing protection, which is actually on my table saw. All right, you two, let's make a little sawdust. going to do is we're going to we're going to spray this adhesive on and glue on the I made it much bigger than what we need. I'll trim it off later. I'll trim it off with uh, scissors. Thank you. 
These Milwaukee scissors are the best scissors I have ever used. They cut almost everything. And sharp, they stay sharp as a, as a, as a razor knife. Remember to put that on.
these are what's going to lock it in now to the table. said always oh, never use your teeth. I gotta get another glue bottle. screw up on camera. That was like my favorite trophy. Things happen, overcome, get something else.
must have mismarked the screws. Locked into the table. A little glue on it, but nothing. And it cleans pretty. It cleans up pretty good too. And now, nothing falls through. Ooh, quick, quick and easy. The last one I did, I did it with like quarter by quarter, and it just got kind of got in the way. So. I mean, not in the way, it, it wasn't tall enough. So now at least, you know, with this, you can get it, that nut's gonna fall off even if you wanna move it somewhere. But that's it. That's the whole shooting match. Alrighty, let's get these screws back in and check the size of them because they say one inch, but they're not. All right, YouTube, I hope this was helpful. And, um, I'll, um, I'll include some measurements in the description below. And um, again, I'd like to thank everybody um, for all the subscribes. I'm up to 930, 930. I'm closing in on 1,000. Uh, I'm, I'm like really excited. I may do something for the 1,000. My wife and I are trying to figure out um, something. Uh, but I'll announce it on, on a later video. All right, YouTube, um, anybody wants a Mike Woodshop sticker, I'm going to include my email in the uh, description below and just uh, email me with your uh, mailing address. Okay, YouTube, uh, you all have a nice weekend, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye.